What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to fix network lag, high ping and packet loss when playing Roblox on your PC. This should be quite an easy tutorial, everything you need will be listed in the description below. In case you experience a high server-sided latency, then the issue might not be on your end, but rather related to the server you are playing on. Make sure that the servers are working fine by visiting this page, everything you need will be listed in the description below. Here you can preview reports about server issues and below open the live outage map to see where server related issues are coming from. You should make sure not to use a VPN service as it will induce latency and packet loss when trying to play Roblox on your PC. In case the servers seem unaffected, then the issue might be on your end. In case the issue is related to your own network connection, make sure to test your connection by visiting speedtest.net. A normal app and download speed without interruption is important to have a stable gaming experience. Especially your ping should remain below 100 milliseconds. Make sure to use an Ethernet cable to ensure the best possible connection. If you have to use a Wi-Fi connection, then make sure to restart your router or modem if you haven't done this in a while and reduce the amount of devices connected to the same network. Next. Open up your command prompt by searching for CMD and hitting enter. Ping google.com. This command will check your latency and packet loss to Google servers. If your ping is higher than 100 milliseconds or if you encounter any packet loss, then you should make a few changes to your connection and follow the next tweaks. Use the command ipconfig slash flush DNS. This will flush and reset the contents of your DNS resolver cache. Using this command can in some cases fix issues when joining a server in Roblox. You can now exit out of a command prompt and open up your task manager. Here, navigate to your resource monitor as you can see in the video. In the network tab, open the processes with network activity and after a few seconds you will see every process using your network connection. This might be your browser running in the background, Steam, or a download bottlenecking your connection. I suggest you to only add the processes which you know won't break your operating system. Below, you can also preview your network utilization in percent. When this is done, we will change your DNS server address in case the error is still caused by your network connection. Use the shortcut Windows key and R and in this dialog box enter Control and hit Enter. This will open up your control center. From here, navigate to network and internet, network and sharing center, and here select your connection. This will open up this window containing some general information about your connection. Navigate to properties and lastly double click the internet protocol version 4. Select to use the following DNS server addresses option. And as your preferred DNS server, use 8888. And as your alternate DNS server, use 8844. This will, for a lot of users, fix the error when joining a server, as these are the official, public DNS server addresses from Google, which are safe to use. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions, and see you in the next one.